Guys, we're here with SPL Psychic Mewtwo vs. Uh, Trosgo. I missed the start. That was supposed to play in 5 minutes. Uh, that's annoying. So, Psychic Mewtwo knocks off the cleft that gets off rocks. So, this is either G Wave or Knockoff Clef. Okay, it's Knockoff. Um, yeah, you my friend T was supposed to join, but. Like, I'm using OBS to record this, so. They're exchanging some hazards. The cliff got up rocks, and the pharaoh got up some spikes. It's hard to cheat on a torn. We will see if this has superpower. If not, he will get pursuit trap T probably. Exactly. Um, I don't know if that crit matter. Maybe if it's banned, it, that crit didn't matter. I could see that being banned huh? And he will just high jump kick you, right? Oh, it's scarf T. Okay. And Lopani doesn't get the speed boost immediately in Aurus, so. That's why the teacher was faster there. I don't know why he didn't go hard cliff. Maybe he's not maybe he's more spadef cliff. Um Jirachi will probably go for U turn here. Oh I see when that's a really nice play, that's a god play. Jesus. Does he have the bolt beam coverage on his Jirachi? The set is juicy as fuck. I like his team. Oh, he has thunder. He has the ball beam, but he misses. That sucks. Now he's gonna go feral. Watch this have HP fire. Yeah, this set, this hex sucks. Um, I was trying really for five hours today, or for three hours, to get OBS working for you. I uh, hope the dimensions are fine. It's still not 1080p. It's 720p, but I think it's still a little bit better quality than. Camtasia, let me know how the quality is compared to my other videos. And I have the music playing in the background now on my uh, laptop. So it's only one song. Usually if I edit the music and after I do multiple songs, let me know what you like more. But yeah, if I edit the video after, it just takes so long. If I record it this way, I can like upload immediately. The only thing I have to do is make a thumbnail, which takes like 15 minutes. Depending on how fast I am, and like sometimes I have to decide on what pictures I want to, what months I want to put in a thumbnail. Sometimes it take 15 minutes. Sometimes I only take 10 minutes. Sometimes I take 20. As uh, so, we will see if this is. He brought in the Gliscor on the Thunder to get some nice uh, poison heal, but yeah, the hex already sucked. Um, I mean, it's the Thunder, 70% accuracy, but that was so funny. Like not funny. The set was like, I don't know how to to say. That set was so cool. Like I wanted that set to do more work, and it missed the Thunder on the army. He's probably not HP fire, but Trosco scouted for that anyway by going Stormy on the Jirachi there when the Pharaoh was out. I think I had my, my voice is a little bit too loud at the moment. I did a test recording with my friend T and my voice was way too high, his voice was a bit too low. So I'll make mine lower later. Even though I have no one in the call, just in general, my voice was a little bit too high. So we see Rotom. Come out um, scouting for potential T wave. Didn't want this cleft to get T waved. And he will probably just hydro pump, yeah. Because you cannot play around with Gliscor. If it's that knockoff set, that knockoff SD set, you have to hydro pump. I mean, you either will Volt Switch or you will always appear, but yeah, he's not gonna let us get Willow with, so that's a good play going into Clef. It's easier said than done, but yeah. I don't know what I would have done there. He's uh, hydro pumping in case Trosco wants to go Glisco on a Volt Switch, I assume. So he has what's probably. I didn't pay attention to the Jirachi if it was leftovers. If it's not leftovers, it's probably expert build. So this Clef got knocked off. He has Law Pony Torn. The dragon could be Scarf then, because his team is not that super fast, but he might just expect um, Trosco to bring something slow and fat, so it might be Specs or Life or by Dragon. As Trosco gets a crit with the Moomless, so this is just annoying, dude. He's getting all the hacks. So he heals his Clef up, but. I don't know what the Stormy is doing with Clef. I guess the Stormy is just here to spin and this Clef probably doesn't have knockoff if he switched. So Hydreigon is in on the spin, that's a decent play too. He can 
If he's live up, he can like fire off a flash can, or if he specs too. But if he specs, it's a bit more hard off. It's a bit harder for Psychic Mew because if he locks into flash can and Trosco goes into something else or stays in, that's really bad. I mean, there's no. I don't think he's staying in here because this is just the Starmie has a nice value for Trosco just to be able to get rid of rocks through the entire match, like throughout the game later on. So I don't think he will sack it. He's either going Clef or Ferrothorn. Maybe Ferrothorn has a mid ground because he's either Dark Pulsing or Flash Canning here, in my opinion. Uh, he could also flame throw, so Ferroth is a bit risky. I don't know what the right play is here, to be honest. Like, if you're Psychic Mewtwo, I'd either Flash Can or Flame Throw, because I don't think he will sack the Starmie. That just doesn't make any sense. As he scum and he sacks the star, he goes for two gets the foot. Come on, dude. So that play makes some. I don't know if I, I want to say that play makes some sense. I really don't see the point in just sacking your star. Me like. If he doesn't get fully paralyzed there, you just suck your Starmie. I mean, T-Rolling this is a decent play as in Clefable outspeeds it and can kill with Moonblast, but... Like, he probably Dark Pulse there because he said there's no justice, so... Like, I get... I get Dark Pulsing there if he did it. But I, I was just... I have been playing Witch Wakers of lately, like I said in my other video earlier. So I would probably flame Zord of Flashkin. I mean, it depends on his set, obviously. If I'm choice locked, that is, I would have run for Flash Can or Flamethrower. If he's live up, Dark Pulse would have been okay, I guess. And he gets paralyzed again to rub some salt in the wound. I mean, this is just, I don't want to watch this. Um, my Wi-Fi died yesterday, by the way, so I missed um, Advantage versus Genesis 7. If I recall correctly, that was the match that I missed. I rewatched the replay earlier. It was an okay match. It was not bad, but like, I'm not too, too sad that I missed it. Oh, you clicked Dragon Ball on Star on me. So depending on the set, that would have done... I don't think it kills, yeah, but if he specs, it might kill. But he's probably a life orb. I don't know. We, ne we will never find out since it's a dragon died. The Zard, um, Zard X just kind of wins now, right? I mean, even Zard Y does a lot of work. It doesn't really matter which Zard it is. So we will see if it's Ice Beam Clef. It's not Ice Beam. Ice Beam Clef might have had a chance here. Yeah, I think Clef might have actually had a chance to bring this back, but I don't think, nah. I think Clef wouldn't have like, just swept, but it could have like put in some work. I mean, he's obviously not Ice Beam since the rocks got revealed. I don't know what I was thinking. Rocks Combat is an interesting set, though. Because, like, when you get a rocks early, people usually don't expect you to have Calm Mind. They would expect the left move to be T Wave or knockoff. I think I said the same earlier that I was expecting that. But yeah, there's no way to psychic, for Psychic Mutu to come back. Um, the Thunder Miss on the Stami earlier mattered, in my opinion, because if that would have killed the Stami, I don't know if it would have killed, maybe it was bulky Stami, and maybe on the mineral they lift that, or on like low roll. Maybe even on a mid-roll, I don't know the calc. But if the Sami would have been gone, rocks would have been up, and like his team would have been pressured, and... If that dragon wouldn't have been paralyzed e either, so like the combination of both hex... The time dragon get fully paralyzed, plus the... Storm, uh, Jirachi missing the thunder earlier, like that sucked. Uh, he also crit the Torn, but that didn't matter. I think he did he crit the Torn. Going Rotoman off quick is nice, but I don't think it changes the outcome.
Wait, the, did the pursuit crit matter? That's what Blunder said. And yeah, it was scarfed, all right. I, we were just talking about that earlier. Was so the crit on the torn also mattered. Yeah, this is just not. I don't like this. Like, some hacks happens, but this game is just not fun, dude. Like, crit the torn. Dodge thunder. I know it's 70%. And then get a powerful power on the hot uh, dragon with the star. I mean, like, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Excuse my word choice, as he's probably just gonna, yeah, just gonna hydro. Trosco just playing around here. I don't know why he didn't go to Clef there. I don't really see the point in going Starmie, because he, I mean, he lifts a Volt Switch, but I don't really see the point in going Starmie when you have Clef. Uh, Oh, so he's just trying to one we want this roll and get the bone. Of course he gets the first try. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not... This is so gay, dude. I don't care if my word choice is bad. Like, nah, this is not fun. Like, of course he gets it. Like, I don't have anything against Trost Go like him, but this is like yesterday. Poik also hexed at the end, but okay. Let's not talk about that game. That game was clo like way closer. So he's just trying to catch him going on to Glisco on a Volt Switch. That's why he's hydro pumping, I guess. Nah, it's not compared that game to the other game yesterday but like he has been getting multiple hexes and yeah I like both players so I don't really mind who wins if this was not hexy but yeah hex sucks I mean it's obviously not his fault um, I mean it kinda is his fault because he's using Thunder Wave but I'm not blaming him I'm not blaming him I'm just saying I'm just saying I couldn't do anything about the Thunder Dodge and the Z Way episode crit Maybe could have done something and not use Thunder Wave, but it makes sense or for his team to have a T Wave Starmie for speed control. Since Scarfta is like a really slow Pokemon and Scarfta doesn't even outspeed stuff like Law Bunny, so you want that speed control with T Wave Starmie, I can understand that. I mean he has a bulky backbone, but yeah, you can never have like something like Zardex looks really threatening to his team when Tita gets weakened, if it gets up a DT. It kinda runs through his team. So I can get the T-Wave play, so you can T-Wave on Zod um, with Starmie, so you're not complete set up for it at least. As a nice play by Psychic Mew to bring the Clef in on the Leech Sheet. Uh, so yeah, Trusco just laying up Spikes, so they heard uh, the Lopani and the Jirachi. I really don't see how Psychic Mew can bring this back. He doesn't even have rocks up, he has nothing. He has no way of winning this game. This is so sad, dude. Like, the other bad thing is this match will take a while, but you know, well, no matter what happens, Psychic Mute, you probably cannot come back unless Trosco chokes or he gets some revenge hacks, but I don't see it happening. Like, this Rotom is almost out of Hydro Pumps, and you have to hit Hydro Pump too, and he can just switch out in the clef or something. On to Stami, whatever he wants. Now I would go Clef. Um, also, I really hope my OBS is not messing up because I was when I was doing test recordings and playing around with the configuration. So, however you say it, my English is not on point. Okay, he just stayed in, so he knows he can eat it up. Unless he gets crit, he can eat it up for lunch. Like maybe a double crit was the only way of killing this. But yeah, so he's just going for game with a glass go. Nice paint but they're not wasting the hydro pump, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, when I was playing around with my um, settings, settings was the right word. I was looking for settings on OBS. Um, I had like some bad lag sometimes when I put the quality on too high. I think my computer just can't handle it. Might have already said that if I'm repeating myself, that's my head. Why is this guy awake? He said. He should have been in my video, dude. He said he's gonna take a nap. Whatever, dude. It's fine. It doesn't matter if anyone joins me. This match is just so bad for Psychic Mewtwo. Like, you can just switch out on the Icy Wind, right? You can go to Feral Zone. I don't think. Like, this might still have HP Fire, but HP Ground. Might also be an option. Now he has some ways to pressure Heatran. I'm not sure, but I still assume he's HP Fire or Ground, one of the two. 
and then the last move with probably Iron Head or Psychic or Grass Nod if he predicts some Quicksight shit. Nah, he wouldn't expect Quicksight from Trosco. So he um summed us there. I don't know if he went for the the um for the power, but that's some justice I guess. But it doesn't really matter like at this point. I thought he might predict have predicted him to go Starmy there, so his play kinda makes sense to me. Since Trosco like if you're Trosco you still wanna go out to Starmy on a potential HP fire. Because earlier he didn't go HP fire, but that just that doesn't mean he doesn't have it. He could have just like not want to show. Maybe he just didn't want to show that he has HP fire. Wanted to catch him off guard. That's actually a really nice way to play. Like I saw that in last year's World Cup or something. I don't know if it was World Cup or another tournament, but someone had earthquake on Laddie, and he always switched out on Heatran, right? And the third the third time also he was in with Laddie versus Tren, he just earthquake the Heatran. Bob, the opponent did not see that coming. So yeah, at this point, he probably doesn't have HP5, he's not going for it, because, yeah, he doesn't have it. So it's probably HP ground then, or he just doesn't have a hidden power. He could also have Psychic and Iron Head, or Iron Head and Energy Ball, uh, Grass Nut, whatever. Yeah, Energy Ball makes more sense than Grass Nut, I think. Because it hits Rotom harder, right? Quicksai gets awkward by both Grass moves, I assume. So that doesn't matter in that sense. This is uh, painful to watch. You cannot even burn this um, since it's paralyzed. Like Ferrothorn being paralyzed doesn't hurt Trosco that much. Like he just doesn't care. That can can you please end this game already? Just I know that you don't want to like rush it and choke it away, but if he like gets in his Zard, like that pretty much gets a kill. Okay, that Raji is gone, it works. We're making some progress. Painful, painful. So yeah, sometimes the dimension also like change the cells on OBS. I hope the dimensions are fine. I really really hope. I am repeating myself, but I've just tried to get this correct for like so long and if it still doesn't work now I'm gonna be mad. Is he just high jump kicking? Yeah. I'm expecting this to be Zardex, kind of, but actually, nah, usually on this type of team you see, yeah, exactly, Zardex. Oh, that still kills, I thought it might not kill with the bulk it gains, but yeah, High Jump kicked it so much, that return obviously kills, I don't know what I was thinking there. Usually I expect Zardwai with Pursuit Tar, but for some reason it just made sense to me that it was Zardex. Um, I don't know, I, I might have expected this to be like a bulky wall with set too. I mean, it was obviously offensive because I don't think return plus high jump kick would have killed if he was a fat Zard. Maybe he had some little investment, but that definitely that was not that bulky. Go, okay, okay. At least it's not a 6, so he killed a cheetah, he killed a Zard, but yeah. Without hacks, this game would have been really close, and I don't know if Trosk would have won this. I'm not saying that Trosco wouldn't have won, but um, it would have been way more interesting without that hex, honestly. Yeah, like this, this guy just eats this up and it's SDs into Earthquake. Like, he doesn't even have to heal here, he can just fire off a big Earthquake. Like, the Rotom is dead, so he doesn't have switch ins anymore. That crit might have mattered, but... Not in the long run, at this point the match was over. I mean, Lobon, he could technically bring it back if he has Ice Punch and... Nah, he does to Iron Bobs, right? Pretty sure he does to Iron Bobs. Um, otherwise, he would have, like, have to crit the Clef. Nah, even crit doesn't kill Clef at 91. So, if, yeah, Pharaoh would have had to be a bit lower and then maybe he could have won if he, like, had Power Punch and... Not even if he had power punch, but yeah, he's, he just dies to arm ups. Like if he like crit the storm, he crit the clef. If this was a little bit lower, he could have won potentially with some revenge hex. But yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. I mean, I don't want him to revenge hex. I wanted to see a clean game with less hex on, just less hex in general. Um, thank you guys for watching. So Trosco takes this game. Usually I would be happy for him, but not like this. Like I said earlier, let me just. 
uh, check, I think he's on the Sharks draw score. And they are playing versus, yeah, they're playing versus the Cryos, so the score is 1-1. One one. So you can say there's some justice for the Sharks, in the sense that Poik uh, dodged the Focus Blast versus Kanto last turn, but Kanto also could have played that a bit different. That game was interesting, if though, um... So score 1-1. One one. Now I'm gonna end this, make a thumbnail, and hopefully upload this really soon. Thank you guys for watching more SPL coming. Zamrock is playing tomorrow. I said in an earlier video he's playing today. That was a mistake. Actually, I didn't upload that video yet, so never mind. Um, Dogwitch signing out. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace out, friends.